This is the Oakland Podcast, featuring Morgan Brown and Michael Yu. Welcome to the Oakland Podcast. I am Morgan Brown. Michael Yu. And I'm the Podfather. And we are so lucky to have a special guest here yeah. with us at the pod in the pod room in Carousel. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Cam Walker. Woo! Yeah. Welcome! Oh. Cam, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Thanks for having me on the show. He is like, a, he's like, he's very excited about being on podcast. He had no idea. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> is this, have you, yeah, have you ever been on a podcast before, Cam? Never been on a podcast and barely listened to podcasts. <laughs> oh, I'm a okay. newbie. This is good. We're going to break your We're cherry. We're going to break the yeah. cherry. <laughs> <laughs> the isn't podcast it, cherry. It pop the cherry. Pop. Oh yeah, yeah. the cherry. <laughs> I broke it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not even going there. I am the only woman in this room. <laughs> it's too much. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so we're so thankful to have you here. No, for people that do not know you, you are an Oakwoodite. You're at in our North Vancouver office. Yeah, yeah. You run our Edgemont office right now, currently, and yep. in where we are in the sense of having the office space and making it everyone feel welcome. And it's been such a joy working with you. How long have you been with us and how has it been going? <laughs> well, it's been going well, yeah. but uh, I, I don't know. Is it, it's getting close to two, two years. years. Yeah, two years. Almost yeah. two years. Mm-hmm. Um, it's gone by really quickly. So that's a good thing. Yes. Um, the change was, was needed and, <laughs> and the culture is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. That's why I made the change. So yeah, oh, that's, that's, great. that's great. Well, we were so, so lucky to have you. I think it's been so wonderful. And what I loved when I first met you was you had so many incredible ideas about how to make the industry better. And yeah, that's what we're all about. Absolutely. And you know, uh, we have a big theme of our year coming up at 2021, which is innovation. And that's why Cam is here. You're a very innovative guy. Like, w- tell us a little bit about how you've been innovating our industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, for me, it's, you know, I'm not super innovative from the marketing side. That's, mm-hmm. that's never been my thing. But uh, just the networking side, I feel like there's so many ways that you can, you know, be ahead of your your competitor, right? To give you that advantage. Mm-hmm, right. And for part of me, that's just having a really good database and being able to manage that. Yeah. Um, Tell us more about that. So yeah, so I, you know, about two years, two and a half years ago, right. started digging into some CRMs and okay. couldn't find anything I liked. So I went into the opposite direction, decided I think I should try and build something, <laughs> <laughs> right. which is uh, really hard, a lot harder than I expected. So, okay. you know, a few failed starts and... Uh, now we're here and we've just recently launched uh, Reach, which is our CRM. Mm-hmm. Um, and Oakwin has come alongside us and have a whole bunch of Oakwinites using it, which is super exciting. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, it's so what was your What was your frustration with the CRMs that were available, Cam? You know what? I felt like they were all really clunky. Okay, either, what is a CRM first? Yeah, yeah. let's, let's okay, start so, yeah, so bare basics. CRM, Elementary, yeah, my dear. <laughs> customer <Watson>. relationship <laughs> management software. Okay. So this is where you're going to manage all your leads, your listings, your tasks, everything you need to do day to day, right? Mm-hmm. And most agents are running around with nothing. They're just using their phone. It's yeah. just like they're in notes, they're in Dropbox, they're in their contacts and everything gets lost. And mm-hmm. if you're anything like me, it's like very, very, very scattered. Mm-hmm. Um, missing appointments, forgetting to do things like order signposts for your new listing. Right. Um, so that's that's kind of what it is. Yeah. And the systems that were out there, there's a lot out there, but they're a little bit archaic. Okay. They got clunky, hard to use, um, very expensive. You know, mm-hmm. they're anywhere, and they all charge US dollars. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So we set out, we're like, you know what? We need to make something that's simple, something that's easy to use. We're not going to have all the features that Top Producer has or okay. some of our competitors, but we're going to strip it down, create an incredible user experience mm. and make it something that you actually want to use because right. mm-hmm. CRMs are only helpful if you use it. Yeah, for and sure. And most people pay for years. I know an agent who's paid for a CRM for 12 years and they're like, yeah, I basically look at the contact list twice a year. That's about it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you've been paying $80 a month for 12 years right. to not use it. And he said, well, it's just overwhelming. Yeah. Yes. So we set out to make something that was simple. And okay. that's kind of our whole thing is grow your business simply. Um, mm-hmm. So there's lots of, you know, growing pains. We've had uh, some ups and downs <laughs> yeah. and there's lots of features we want to tweak and add and, and mm-hmm. do things with. But yeah. Well, so tell us about that journey then. Yeah, so the like, journey yeah, for Yeah, so it. like, you know, in development of software, you know, did you have a background in that? Like, what's the... No, <laughs> not even close. Because you're I, a real estate guy. I'm a real estate guy. And before that, um, 
I, I was, I've always been entrepreneurial. Real estate for me was something that, you know, I have a big network, so it was a good way to get in, mm -hmm. meet, like use my network to, you know, create income to support my family. Sure. But to me, there's always been this entrepreneurial side that I want to build businesses. Um, and I've done that in the past. My first business was actually a Christmas light company. Oh, wow. And uh, we started just, you know, we called it slang and Christmas lights, but we were basically just putting Christmas lights up on people's houses. And the next thing we knew three years later, we were doing like almost a million dollars in business in three months. Hmm. Um, we met, we, we made up empire of Christmas lights. Wow. So <laughs> that I actually ended up selling to my business partner and he turned it into what is now enchant, which is like the largest Christmas light maze show. and market and yes, show and not show. in Canada anymore, but all over the U S yeah. using MLB stadiums, massive production. Hmm. Um, so that's kind of where, you know, I started like entrepreneurial. How old were you when you did that? We started that when I was just out of high school. Oh my gosh. Um, which was great. And then even in between there, we I had a, a vinyl wrapping business. We wrapped cars. So mm -hmm. we did a lot of wraps for the Lamborghini dealership and the Ferrari dealership. So and we just did that because we wanted to drive exotic cars. Right? <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, school, I just couldn't, I couldn't even sit through a class. I just wouldn't, I, I was the class clown because I just wanted to be social and talk mm -hmm. to people. So like I would go to school <laughs> in the morning and I would go visit my friends and then I'd skip every class all afternoon mm -hmm. until after school and I'd go hang out with them. That's and literally me. I was literally just in this. Class. And then eventually the school was like, okay, you either have to go to class or we're going to expel you or you can leave. And I, I threw my parents for a loop. They're like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to leave. And they're like, uh, what, what do you mean you're going to leave? My other two sisters were like good students, mm -hmm. went to school properly, went to university, and they're much older than me. And I just kind of went a different direction. So, yeah, <laughs> wow. LB, LBD is, is a LBD. thing. And LBD. It's bizarre because now, like I've spoken at Argyle Secondary, they asked me to come speak to their business class, which I turned down at first and then went the second time. I'm like, I don't think you want me. Like, I don't right. like what you do here. <laughs> and they're like, no, we want people to see that you know, there are other ways to go through right. life, right? Life, so. exactly. And, that's, and it's cool you had encouraging parents to be like, yeah. okay, cool. You For know sure. what I mean? Like, sure. it's a very different, there's, there's some parents would be like, you just got to get, get well, through this. That must have not been easy. They weren't, were they just like, that's cool. They were probably like screaming at you. No, no? it was like shockingly <laughs> the opposite He's not direction. Asian, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, okay. I'm not like my buddy Lucas uh, who had to go stand so in the corner disowned? pulling <laughs> And you didn't dishonor your family? <laughs> yeah, no. It was, it, yeah, totally different. Totally oh my different. gosh. Okay. Yeah, what did we do? What did we do? They said to me, uh, they're like, well, what, what do you want to do? I'm like, yeah. well, I don't really want to go to, I don't really want to go to school. And it was right before the summer. I was supposed to go to Keats, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, you know what? Just leave. Just leave. Take some time off. We'll go to Keats for the summer. And then we come back, we'll go by, go to correspondence, right? Like, and it was the best decision parents. I ever made, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ended up graduating six months early. So I was done before all my friends at Hansworth anyways. Right. And most of my social network who I spent a lot of time with were from Keats anyways. Mm -hmm. um, that's where like all my best friends are from. And so I was like, this is great. Just kind of like move forwards in life mm -hmm. that way. And it's led me to being here, right? So. That's a great like token for any parents out there. It doesn't have to only be in your school for your kids. It, it, you should be able, like one thing my parents always did was put us into different things. And we had different friend groups and different, like you with Keats and just allowing people to say like, you, you're not, just you're not locked into this. <laughs> you're going to sure. make a, a, a community in different areas, right? 100%. Oh, that's so, it's so Which inspiring. Is, you don't see it that way when you're in high school. Like I left, it sounded easy, but, but like these not. were all my friends and I was yeah. making this decision to basically leave them, you know, no grad, none of that stuff. And the bizarre part is they, all the ones who were good friends are still good friends, right? Oh, I love it's that. The, it's the ones that were kind of like, they were friends in high school, but probably by the time Cam's you Cam's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's like, see you later, sucker. See you later. Yeah. yeah. So, no, He's so out of you, here. So you didn't go to prom? No, didn't go to grad. And mm. the, the I, I had to go through the Lucas Center to graduate. That's where they do the correspondence. Okay. And you don't want to go to grad there. Like, <laughs> it's a pretty rough crowd. Right. Um, <laughs> not all people who wanted to leave school yeah. for diff those reasons, right? Mm -hmm. So That's um, so funny. Oh, my God. Yeah, but do, so. you, do you want a prom? No. <laughs> I'm no. just joking. I'm just joking. But, we got to get him a corsage. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, yeah, I did get... I did. Actually, that's not true. Something just fell on me. I don't know what this is. But oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. This place um, is falling apart. Yeah. What's what <laughs> dump? Where are we? This Vancouver? Where are we? Yeah, this Where's is... the North Shore? How do I get home? Yeah, it's his exactly. bestest. Don't Where's worry. Where's the mountains? <laughs> yeah. Where's the mountains? Yeah, take um, me home. Yeah. So that's so cool. And, and so 
back to reach and where you were, you know, after, so you obviously brought it out is kind of beta, which I was lucky to be a kind of a little bit a part of. Yeah. Did you find like, was it timing for you to send it out? Or are you still in that kind of transition? Are you always trying to like just get better or what's your, what's the overall goal here with reach? Totally. Yeah, no, right now I would still call it like we're in version 0.9. Okay. It's like we have a lot of things we want to do and right. move forwards with. And yeah, Morgan and her team have been super helpful because, yeah, they. I, you mentioned the leads page earlier, right? Like the way you see it. Well, you were like, we want to see it differently. We want to assign things differently to different agents. Well, we've already implemented that now. So we're testing like, mm -hmm. you know, how does this change hands between different team members and mm -hmm. how does it display on the screen? Like we found little things like you had to click through tabs to see your hot, warm, and cold leads. And we're like, this is stupid. It should all be on one page yeah. and have mm -hmm. collapsible menus. So we just started that. So it's like little tweaks to major things. You know, we're overhauling the whole calendar platform right now, which uh, all came because we had a nightmare situation with a very <laughs> big Vancouver team from Stillhaven. And uh, we've given them some free months. Let's just put it <laughs> yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. Right? But, uh, it, but it's those things you learn from. And you're like, okay, we need to pivot now and... I think we'll always want to make it better. It will yeah. never be perfect. No. Um, which is a bit of a problem in, mm -hmm. when you're kind of a creator. But it's, you know, if you don't launch, like your failure to launch at the right time yeah. is, you know, so many people say they're like, if you just don't hit the market, you never know. Right. Yeah. So you get to well, a certain it's that, point. Well, uh, minimum viable product. Uh, yeah, it's um, all about the MVP. Yeah, the MVP. What, what, what book was that? That was Eric Reese, right? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I don't read much. Oh, okay. So podcast, reading, I don't yeah. know. I'm like an outdoors guy. I'm like, put me on a bike. Yeah, yeah there I'm you out go. Here. Yeah. For sure. That's amazing. I think you have the new adjustment from you going from a solo agent. So anybody that has not tried Reach, definitely go on, even if you're a solo agent or a team. That's sure. what is so great about it is it is multifaceted that you can grow your team within that reach. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and what I love also is just being able to, it's so easy accessible. Like, I mean, my for my team, we're always on it every morning, you know, right away. And you can see it on all of our kind of desktops and all of our information is out there. Um, what... Did you guys always want it to be like a Canadian company, you know, because you talked about U.S., the U.S., like most of them are U.S. companies, yeah, right? For sure. Yeah, we like the idea of like starting in Vancouver and like building our business here, like Canadian based and even simple things like charging in Canadian dollars because mm -hmm. there's actually a lot of Canadian CRMs, but they all charge USD, right? Yeah. Um, but for us, yeah, like I think we're proud to be doing this here. Like it's it's easier to start something in the States. There's just more people. You know, I think it's really important that, uh, you know, specifically that there's like an organization mm -hmm. platform that you're using um, for, you know, for looking at your, um, for your leads and for looking at your, uh, for looking at your contacts and your referral. Like, and what Cam said right out from the beginning is so key is that, you know, most of his business is through his network. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. through people that he knows. And when you look at like when we're at, you know, Medallion or when we're talking to top producing agents, what do they say about their business? Like where does it come from? It's always referral. Yeah. Networks. Yeah. Networks, networks and referral. And yeah. Referral. So Spare. like being really strong in that aspect and having it organized is like super key to to like a long lasting and really thriving not thrive or reach full yes. business. <laughs> you know, for sure. Right. Yeah. Like you, how many new agents come to you, Morgan, Michael, who are like, you know, they're thinking about advertising ideas. I've seen so many agents who go and they get a bus shelter. And I'm <laughs> no. like, you have no, no one knows who you are. Yeah, not, that, you know, who's going to call you? They're not Mike friend. Before, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They're going to call you and be like, Hey, I saw you on Georgia street and they don't want to buy a house. They're right. just your buddy. Who's like, Hey, you have a bus sign now. Yeah. Whereas you have, you know, and that's going to cost you a lot of money. Yeah. You sign up for a CRM costs you 25 bucks a month. Oh, right? And yeah, the investment the is that you just now are starting to work your network. Right. Mm -hmm. So. You, I think that you, you presented two amazing, like key things that reach has over other people, which is yes, like user easy on board, the easy yeah. on board and, um, and then also cost obviously for every agent. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Agents are looking for their penny, especially when they're first starting. Yeah. But the third is that you, there's lots of easy, like, I think a lot of people are always afraid to get into something like a CRM and then. They don't know how to use it properly, yeah, or they don't sure. like they need a call center, or they need, there's always someone on the other side. And I, I think that's so helpful for a lot of people that just don't get it. Or if you have an assistant that's going to bring it all on and they need to kind of get really with it, you guys are so responsive. So sure. yeah. that's my 
amazing tip of reach. I appreciate the nice words. Yeah. I love that. I, well, I love reach and I love that it is, it was made of a need. You know, I think that's when, you know, when the great things are designed, yeah. you know. And a lot of our top agents uh, are using reach right oh now. Oh my gosh. It's pretty like the, the buzz around the office has been really, really positive. The feedback has been really great. So let's say an agent was interested in reach from our office or from another office. What yeah. would they... Well, how would they reach out, Cam? Well, well, if they're from another office, they got to go through our site and pay full price. <laughs> um, Oakland's got the special deal. Sure. Um, yeah, if you're an Oakland agent, just, yeah, you can give uh, Amber a call. Amber. She can send you the link that has the, the specific login for cool. Oakland. Um, that will uh, get you login. set up that way. And and the bonus is through Oakland. You don't actually have to give us a credit card. Oakland will pay it like you through get the through office. the monthly statement. Right. So you're not getting an extra bill, which is kind of nice. Um, so super straightforward there. And you know what? If you get on and you don't enjoy it or you're just not using it, it's easy to get off of it as well. But we think you'll like it. So. Yeah, right. I think so. That's awesome. So yeah. if you're at Oakland that and an, an agent, then they would go to what what website, Cam? Yeah, you just go to reachforagents.com. Reachforagents.com. Yeah, and you can sign up there, log in That's there. That's a good email. It's yeah. oh, such a good website. Yes. Yeah, Reach for agents. Perfect. So good. That's so yeah. good. Well, Cam... Thank you so much for being a part Thank of the you, podcast. Ken. It was really awesome to have you and introduce Reach to us as well. Um, and if you've been interested, sorry, uh, if you've enjoyed this podcast and uh, want to learn more about CRMs and stuff like that, um, you know, feel free to reach out to us at open.com slash join and type in the message box pod 2021. To get a mystery swag piece. We yeah. look forward to talking to you guys. Okay, Thanks see you so next much. time. Bye, Bye. guys. See ya.